Welcome back, viewers. I hope you slept well. And yes, we want to exit. Yes, we are still at the inn. Not much has been going on. We're just, you know, we're starting out. We're gonna get out of the town. It's nighttime. Uh, I don't think this house has anything of importance. I swear there was a spirit point somewhere nearby. I'm... I'm gonna get to the gate and I'm gonna cut it to see if I can find a spirit point. And if I can, I will... Well, I'll be right back. So right there is the gate. I will meet you at the door. Unless I find a spirit point. Okay. So, yeah, I found one. It's right here. I knew there was one in town, so, yeah, pulling up water. I'll meet you right down there, and so you know, it was right here in the corner, so, yeah. Cutting it again. Alright, through these gates, we start our adventure. You excited? Ah, there we go. Rotate the camera. So, out here, we have random battles. I'll be editing most of them out, but... Well, I'm gonna be showing you people or monsters and what have you. And yes, our first enemies, hellhounds. Now, you actually have a chance to avoid their attacks. That didn't do crap. Of course, that doesn't work too much. Anyways, so yes, water. Um. can't really avoid their attacks. <laughs> Means that we have to get so close. Also, water is kind of a pain to level up at first. It becomes much better. The only problem is, as you saw, magic is kind of, well, it's kind of limited. I mean, wind's not so bad at, in the beginning. It, it has a lot of range. Fire, it, it's much, it's actually very similar to what those guys were doing. And yeah, this guy. No, we get to go first. And earth... We have rock. What does that do? It does that. And this guy, he, uh, he's actually water elemental. Alright, he uses water. And that's wind, just so you know. I'm sure. And yes, as you see, he's going to try to get close to us so he can do that. We can kind of move. Depending on- Hey, I said attack him. When the staff icon is above their head, you can hit them. For the most part. Going to beat you to death, Big Mouth. Yeah! And constantly throughout the game, while you keep fighting, your stats will actually go up. As you see, we actually have 16 magic- Okay, we have 51, um, yeah, we have 51 HP and 15 magic points. They're going up, which is good. Now, these guys, these guys are interesting. They actually have higher level magic decks. Also, we leveled up water. Yes. You won't get any message indicating you got a new level, but trust me, it levels up. That didn't do anything. Bumper shoot. You get water too, buddy. Wreck you good. This guy has a very high leveled water attack. It's actually ice. Yes. Parasult. Beat you up good. You're not doing so hot. See, let's give you that bread. Go up a bit. So yeah, the more you fight, the more randomly your stats will go up. Also, if you can't tell, it's easy to get disoriented while walking because you get into battles. And yeah, I'm just... I'm not gonna cut battles out this time. Next couple parts, if we've seen it, well, 
probably don't need to show that battle again now, do I? Unless, of course, I can one-shot them, then it's no problem. This guy looks like an alligator. He's like an... He's like a lizard alligator. It's gonna do nothing. So yeah, your stats can actually increase in battle. So, also I should probably explain. Um, this is where how you know if you're getting um, experience points. And by that I mean that circle in the middle. Well, it will fill up the more enemies you kill. And that essentially, once it's filled up, you level up one of your elements. Let's see. Nothing here. Go into the, the. Go in. There we go. Most importantly, spirit point right here. I will do that. Okay, nothing of importance. Those travelers don't show up very often. It seems that it isn't safe on the roads these days. You're a fortune teller. We'll clear our destiny. End of the long road. Whatever. So yes, exploring in this game is good. There's not really too many side areas though, just fair warning. But exploration is key. We will we'll, we will be rewarded with experience stats and what have you. I'm gonna hit you with a rock. The rock site. Yes, I was I was saying we want to level up water. I think it's foolish. But I really want that healing spell. That'll serve us a lot of good. Also, I just realized every time we hit an enemy our mm, oh, sweet, we got fresh bread. Sometimes enemies will drop items. Just like that. But anyways, as I was saying I stopped getting interrupted. As I was saying, if you hit enemies, you will recover MP. So it does help. So these guys, you can evade their attacks. And I hate that you have to be so close. These guys are called were rabbits. I guess they were humans, but they got. Tri I hit him, damn you. Hey, stop missing my attacks, buddy. Thank you. Um, give you a taste of your own medicine. There we go. Hit you good. Victory is ours. Okay, okay. Like I said, it's easy to get disoriented in this game. And once you do, you will kick yourself for it. ending up backtracking so far along the way. That kind of becomes pain. So you guys are, you guys are annoying. Hit you with a rock. Yes. Now there are status effects in this game. Believe it. Oh, that did nothing. There are status effects in this game. So he just used an interesting one. That was a, that was a fireball. Um. I believe that is a, a magic attack that we can later get if we level up fire called Steam. And um, the other guy who is throwing the icicles, I believe that's a magic attack called Icicle. It actually has a si it actually has a chance of oh sweet we got healing. It actually has a side effect of um, freezing your opponents in place, which is annoying. If we get hit by that suspect. Also, we get healing. I really like the fact that we got healing. Because now we don't need bread. Unless we're in a boss fight. It'd be very nice to have bread for that case. But either way, we can save our bread. Which is very awesome. And we only heal ourselves for four points. But that will change the more we use healing and increase our water. 
attack. Speaking of water, spirit point right there. Let's go in the house. What do you have to say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. Robber is about. Well, we're trying to catch a thief who stole a book. Maybe it will have something to do with that. Kill up. Yes, because I think if you walk around enough, your magic points actually recover over time. So, you hit things, you recover magic. You wait a bit, you recover magic. Overall, it's very sparing with magic. And until you can level up any element to about yeah, you can level up any element to about level 50 and then it's maxed out getting stronger and I think this way we meet a new enemy yes these guys these guys can't really do too much to you if you're up close to them. Man eater, yes. They will throw rocks at you, however, rocks have a weakness. Ah, damn you, were rabbit. You die. Yes, every time Brian does that little leap thing, it. I guess it's supposed to get you back on track to what angle you were at, but I swear, sometimes it throws you backwards and that can easily disorient you. Anyways, you see this sign? It leads to a castle. We're gonna want to go into that castle. Ah! Yes, unfortunately, the range attack is pretty devastating. However, up close, they can't do much to you. Because you can evade their attacks. He can't do nothing. He's stuck. <laughs> Free experience points right here. Alright. Going this way. If we go the other way, we will go into the forest. But if we do that, we will miss plots. Ah, uh, we have more hellhounds. So yes, as you can see, so that'd be good too. But as you can see, random battles are quite crazy in this game. So, yeah, I'll be doing you a favor by editing most of them out. Appear on out, unless we haven't seen the enemy. I'm sure you want to get an idea what to do for what enemy, and etc. Et ah, sweet, we get soul search. Basically, all that does, as far as I know, is it just. I love the town music. But no, uh, soul search, all it does is I believe it gives you a readout of like the enemy's HP, MP, and what have you. I think. I don't remember. Look it up. Uh, there's quite a few things we can do. First off, let's go in here. Be very important. If you haven't. T if you can't tell, basically, there's no money in this game. Oh, yeah. People just. Yeah, they give you things. Well, she would give us fresh bread, except we already have one. And she won't give us any more. These people will just talk to us. Not important. Uh, let's see. Uh, looking for the end. Yeah, save soon. Not the end. In. Awesome. Hey Shannon, I'll talk to you later, Shannon. Yeah, whatever. Yes, I would like to see the knights. Alright, next time, the rest of the game.
be fun.